further on. I'm going to go to the big screen and try and explain as a layman what they exactly will end up doing and how these, uh, these pivotal parts of the mission are going to be relaying the information that uh, the mission has been uh, sent for in the first place. Well, this is how the Vikram uh, functions. Uh, the door opens and of course uh, out comes Pragyan, uh, which is of course going to scope information, which is going to in fact delve deeper, take pictures, collect samples, relay them uh, back to earth and Pragyan's battery is activated, releasing its solar panels. This is the best way to conserve as well as preserve energy and make sure that uh, the Pragyan is uh, activated because of this energy and the solar panels at all times. This is in fact uh, a chunk of the terrain. Scans are of course relayed to the Vikram and then back to the earth as well. So it's a two-way connection from Pragyan to the Vikram and of course back to the earth where they will be realized and analyzed. And this is of course an animation and the Pragyan follows the mission controls instructions. It's going to move around, it's going to hover around, uh, do as it has been directed to do. The pictures, the samples that are going to be analyzed by Pragyan are going to be absolutely important. It moves forwards, it's of course been taught how to clear obstacles uh, using the rocker bogey, which is uh, of course a mechanism which has a movement range of about 50 mm upwards and downwards as well. As you can see, six wheels all together, three on either side. The mission control instructs Pragyan to stop and determine elemental composition of lunar rocks and other material. The mission control engages uh, the payload to in fact figure out what is going to be the trajectory of the Pragyan as well.